Hey Roses, it's the one and only Dearie LaRose and I'm back with another video. I'm back with another video y'all. Right now I am on my way to Gatsville to go visit my mom. Today's her birthday. It's September 3rd. It's 9.30 right now. Um, we have to be there um, at 10. If you don't know, my mom is in jail um, for a very long time. Um, so I try to at least go see her at least once a year on her birthday. Um, last year, I went to see her on her birthday. And I went to go see her on my grandma's death day, which is 12-12-12. Um, so it's been... A, it's been um, December, January, February, March, April, May, June, July, August, September. So it's been nine months since I see my mom. My son is in the back seat sleeping, so he gets to see his grandma. I'm super excited. We are on, we're 30 minutes away. We got here hella fast. We're 30 minutes away. I just wanted to come. I just wanted to come on in here and let you guys know what I was doing. May as well film a little bit. So that's what's happening today. Um... I can't film inside the jail. I can't even bring my cell phone in. So I will just let you know when I get there and then I will see you guys whenever I come out. But I'm going to pay attention to the road. So I love you babies. Thank you so much. Make sure that you like, comment, and subscribe. Follow me on all my social medias. They're in the description box. Um, and I will be back, Roses. Bye. So I'm pulling up, y'all. I just got here pulling up to the jail right now to visit my mom oh my gosh well here we go here we go I'm gonna just stop right here look they're coming out just look someone's coming out right now <clears throat> I don't want her to have to walk all the way over here. Let me pull up a little bit for her. She's telling me to park. I'm gonna go ahead and park. All right. <clears throat> Hi. Hi. Who are you here to see? Um, Clydell Olani Pakun. Okay, do you have your ID? Yes, ma'am. Do they know that they're having a visit or they don't know until y'all call them like that? Um, I don't, it, it depends. If you didn't tell her, then she probably doesn't know. Okay. Yeah. That's good. That was the plan. Oh, really? Yeah, it's her birthday. Oh. <laughs> Uh, what year is your vehicle? Um, the 2019. The make and model? Dodge Charger. It's okay. Um, my son, I brought, like, butt paste and, like, the butt paste spatula. Just right here. Mm -hmm. And then the butt paste. Okay. Um, and then the wipes and then his, like, crackers for snacks and then quarters and then baby wipes and then two diapers. Okay, as... Uh, I don't know about the pace, but my sergeant's actually walking back, but so we can ask him when we go over there. Okay. Yeah, Dad, do you see your grandma? She's yeah, Dada. I need to put your shoe on. Okay, if you'll find right there for me. Yes. Yeah, you gotta write a certain way my pen kind of goes. Mm -hmm. Oh, sorry. No, you. Okay, there you thank go. you. Uh -huh. I'm gonna let you hold on to this real quick and then. Um, if you guys will get out, so I can look at them. Yeah.
Okay, I have to go by. Bye, guys. Okay, Roses, I'm back from visiting my mom. It's 12 19. Um, really, our visitation was over at 12 o'clock, but one of the guards was generous and just didn't say anything. Um, yeah, my son's in the back. He got to see his grandma. Oh my God, that made me so freaking happy. I'm always, I'm still sitting up here right now um, just to get settled in to drive off. But uh, it made me so happy for my son to see his grandma. And it's her, it's my mom's birthday today too. So um, we got to, you know, see her for her birthday, say happy birthday. We got to take a picture. We got to take some pictures in this, in there inside. So that was great. Um, I'm just, I get sad every time I have to leave just because like, I'm gonna miss my mom. Like, I'm gonna miss her. And she's doing, she seems like she's doing so good. She seems like she's doing so good. I was telling her today, like, just make sure you, you're gonna stay doing good when you get out. I'm gonna be on your head. I told her, I said, I'm gonna be on your head, mom. Like, you wanna come around and be, a, be grandma and be around your grandson and be a part of his life? You're gonna have to start doing things right. Doing things right, taking care of your mental, you know, being a good person, trying to be a better person than where she is now i'm seeing that she is but she has to continue to prove that to me to be you know grandma to be active grandma but i'm just making him a little bottle right now so when we get on the road if he starts to get him fussy he's got him some milk yeah baby He's got him some milk. And then we have a two hour drive back, a two hour, a two hour and 15 minute drive back to town <sighs> to get to Fort Worth. Cause right now we're in Gainesville or no Gates, Gatsville, Gatesville, Gatsville, however you say it, however you want to say it. So after we leave from here, we're probably actually going to go to Walmart because we need to do that. We need to go to Walmart. So our next, the next time you see me, we might be at Walmart. But I'll see y'all in a bit, Roses. Hmm. Hey, Roses. We are at Walmart. Say hey, Daddy. Dada. Here he is. He is not trying oh. to look at y'all, but I'm looking for some fruit. We're getting fruit. So, I definitely know he's a fan of strawberries. You want some strawberries? Some strawberries? We love strawberries. Strawberries are so good. What else? What else, son? Strawberries. What else, daddy? What else do you want? Um, maybe we can do some spinach. Probably gonna do some spinach. If they... Instead of oranges this time, we're not gonna do oranges. We're gonna do cuties because the oranges were way too pulpy. The oranges were way too pulpy, y'all. I did not like that. What are you doing? What are you doing, dude? What are you doing? That's the seatbelt. Let me get these. And do we need apples? 
apples. We don't need apples. Okay. Last time I got some plums. Ridiculous. I got plums last time, so this time we're gonna get some peaches. You want some peaches, Dada? I don't know if these are peaches. Oh, this is a nectarine. I'm gonna get him some nectarines, actually. Daddy, you wanna hold this for mommy? He's gonna hold it. Thank you. <laughs> okay, Daddy. Let's grab some nectarines. Yeah, we're gonna grab like two. Two or three. Whoa. We're gonna grab three. I can't even tell y'all the last time that I actually ate a nectarine on my own. So... You want some squash? You want some squash? Probably gonna get like three. I don't even know how you can tell whether a nectarine is ripe or not. How do you know whenever they're ripe? Are they softer? All these are hard. Oh, these are soft down here. These are soft. What's the difference between a white and a yellow nectarine? I'm gonna get both. We're gonna get both. We're gonna get two of each. Oh. The white ones are kind of fuzzy. Okay, we got three nectarines, Daddy. Last time I got him mangoes. I don't want to do the mangoes because I didn't like cutting them up. We need bananas. Y'all, plantain is so good. If you never tried plantain, try plantain. I promise you, you're going to like it. We did pears last time. We did apples last time. We did avocados last time. We're gonna do bananas. You can never go wrong with bananas, right, Dada? You can never go wrong with bananas. We need some nanners. Oh yeah, I need to check and see if they have spinach. Last time, the Walmart that we were at last time had no spinach. Is kale, does kale go inside of um, smoothies? Cause that's what I'm making for him, I'm making him smoothies. But I'm trying to think if people put spinach and kale, I think they do. Like if you go to Smoothie King, they put that in there. What are you looking at, bud? What are you looking at, daddy? What are you looking at? Okay, so there's baby spinach and kale mixed in, and then there's just regular spinach. I'm gonna get the mix, because I want him to have both. I want him to have both. Does celery go inside of a smoothie, Daddy? Do you think celery goes in a smoothie? You don't like a celery smoothie, huh? No. Ew. Hey, what is this? It's like red celery. It's, I don't know what this is. What's wrong, bud? Okay, we're almost finished, all right? We're almost done, man. We're almost finished, Daddy. I think we're gonna get a big, maybe? No, we, we don't need a big thing of strawberries. Hold on. Okay, so. Oh, what's up? What are you talking about? Huh? Say hey. Say hey to the roses. 
They only have self checkout here. Oh wait, no, they don't. Uh. I see something opened. Say, mm, say, get it together. Say, get it together. I'll be back, you guys. Can I get out of here? Okay, y'all. So we are leaving Walmart. We got everything that we needed except for yogurt. Couldn't get the yogurt. I didn't get eggs either, but I have a whole carton of eggs at the house that I haven't used yet. And look at Stinka Man. Say hey, Stinka Butt. Um, now we're on the way home. And then I actually need to go to the UPS store. So y'all are gonna see that too. Son, let me start the car. It's hot. You're gonna, I don't think, I wonder if him sucking on my key fob. I don't think you should suck on the key fob, son. I think it's gonna mess it up. Y'all, I am literally driving around my apartments looking for somewhere to park. And these freaking parking, this, these apartments, they never have parking spaces. Like, if you park underneath a shed, then you're gonna have to pay. I found one. I found one right here. If you park under a shed, to park under a shed, um, girl, you gotta pay $50 a month to park under a shed. $25 sounds reasonable. $50 a month to park under the shed sounds like you're trying to rip your freaking you're freaking the people who live here you're ripping them off that's crazy you're just trying to get extra money out of us when we already have to pay rent and utilities and all the other extra crap <laughs> bye i'm home it's it's hot as fuck i'm walking with the bags on my hands uh, and then my son this is my other hand. I don't know if y'all can see him. He's right there. I had to walk all the way from my car to my apartment, which I'm not gonna show y'all because I don't need y'all knowing where I live at. And I don't need y'all stalking me. But I can open up a P.O. box if you guys wanna send me packages or anything maybe that'll happen like later down the road I don't know oh god son he's doing such a good job I got my package I got a package right here y'all can't even see it and I think I showed my door number great it's cutting off the circulation on my wrist I got an Amazon package looks like I'm doing an unboxing I filmed one yesterday. It's too hot to be. Fuck, I dropped my keys. My son is sitting here like, mom, open the door. Please open the door. When you're hot, your brain doesn't work the way you're supposed way it's supposed to. So I was literally struggling. Okay. And then I have to walk back to my car to grab the rest of the stuff out of my car. Because I didn't grab everything because I only have two hands and my son is like 30 pounds. Maybe, I don't know for real, but yeah. This is the smallest wig package I've ever had. Look at my chest and look at the wig package. I've never had a package come this small. Like the package that I got yesterday is this one, it's a little bit bigger. You see the difference? They're just getting smaller and smaller with their shipments, which is okay. I'm here for it. But let me get settled in. 